Hey, this is Jeff again with Evil Hall Adventures, reguideservice.com, R-E-I-G-U-I-D-E-S-E-R-V-I-C.com. One real quick video about five tips for hiring a GC. The number one tip is pay more. I know that sounds counterintuitive for a lot of the things that you hear when you're at investment groups about getting people to do the work for less than retail. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you want retail quality, you have to pay for retail level of workmanship. You might have a bunch of jobs over and over again, but a good contractor is already going to have a bunch of jobs. They don't need your bunch of lower paying ones. Number two is help out. If you can have a list of everything that you want done, how you want it done, the types of materials that you want, the fixtures, and you have some reasoning behind all that, that's going to help. That's going to help a lot. The more information you can know, the more you can provide about your job, the better off you're going to be with hiring your GC. Number three, Act like your project is not just a way to make money off your trades, okay? Actually care about the project. Don't try to take shortcuts and be cheap because if you're willing to take advantage of the end buyer of your property, you're probably not going to take care of your GCs or your trades. That's just how they look at it. Number four, give a cut. Add bonuses, um, finishing early bonuses, quality bonuses, under budget bonuses. That kind of stuff really helps. It helps give ownership. And of course, hire a consultant. Hire someone that'll help you out. Be that third party. Reguideservice.com.